Hello everybody, this is Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net The logo, Phoenix Rampant, Phoenix Rising And this is for October 3rd, 2023 and What's the energy like for tomorrow? Because it's today, the 2nd um, I do believe there is a little little well according to the cars there's no trauma but I do believe there's a bit more trauma in that fact that things are moving so quickly that we have to adjust adjust quickly and it's much easier to adjust with we trust the universe than with we have no with we have a belief in the universe like a belief in religion it's harder to trust than if you know that the universe has your back and that the universe is not always going to protect you because you have a lesson to learn or it's your time to leave or something like that or it's other people's lessons to learn and you've acquiesced being part of that lesson things will happen that's true but as a general rule if we know not believe know that uh, this fast process that we're moving through right now is good you will be fine and even going to the other side for, uh, for those people who move to the other side it is not as stressful as for those who are left behind unless you don't believe and you have this con constant desire to say no we're going to die there's nothing left after that because honestly having being a medium I know there is so I don't don't go there but if you believe you've been a bad person in your life or you've done bad things or you've committed suicide you're going to go into a dark realm where it will take a lot of love and patience from those on the other side to help you come through so if you can go in there with the, at least the knowledge that maybe possibly there's something else it will save you and there's no such thing as time on there on the other side but it will save you the length of mourning that you will go through so whatever you do know that there is more than just our existence and that's important and I hope interesting that the Emperor and that's the very first card that came out and the Emperor is uh, very strong masculine energy very positive when <coughs> that's my baby somebody's just leaving something off at the door uh, w the emperor without his empress is unbalanced hush 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 the emperor without his empress is unbalanced and when, when he's by himself, he can be rigid and dogmatic and non-forgiving. When the Empress comes into his life, she brings with her a softness so that he becomes the quintessential family man, the quintessential father. He may still be tough. He, still, he may still be a little dogmatic, but in his heart there is love. And it's what I've been saying all along. Without the balance of the male-female, we are totally unbalanced and there is not enough love. We want to move into a place where there is love. Wonderful thing is, she didn't come out at the same time. She came out about five cards later. We do have the Empress on the third, which is very, very important. Because because the next card is a six of swords which is soon and the angels are supporting and helping drive that energy there you, you will get to the place where there is a more of a balance more of a balance between the female male energy excuse me uh, anyhow <laughs> I have to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. The Knight of Cups. 
when the male energy and the female energy come into balance, and it's coming into balance, I can see it in the energies. I can see it in the roll call and the YouTubes and the um, and the way the energy is moving. When there will be the Knight of Cups, which is a support card, and it's just usually in marriages with it's going to be a good marriage, the support card comes up. And but this one, it comes up when both of them are working together, one as a masculine, one as a feminine energy. It uh, gives, lends each other support, it lends each other balance, and it lends each other, if, if you look, it has the Holy Grail, knowledge. Will that knowledge be the same today and tomorrow? Probably not, because we need different things at different times. But it also gives us a sense, the Three of Wands, of being in control, or making making the decisions for ourselves. So when a man comes into your life, he doesn't make the decisions for you, and you don't make the decisions for him. But you support each other in who you are and the decisions you make. And if he doesn't like what you're doing, you listen to him and you talk it out. And if he doesn't like what you're doing, if you don't like what he's doing and you're female, you listen and you talk it out. You don't expect him to change because you don't like it. You've learned to understand it. And that is what support is. Being there for the person because this is the, for their best interest. And sometimes, yes, it's like children. We look at our children and you go, they're making a huge mistake. And if you were like me, I would stand back and I'd let them fall on their face because I was there to support them when they had to get up. I let them learn how to live life so that they could go out and not need me. Well, nice thing is, they still in their 30s, they still call me for advice when they need it. And I'm very, and that's the same with a male-female relationship. If they learn to trust you, they will come back and they will support you. You put in the effort, you're going to reap the rewards, and we're going to clean up the old energy. This is the temperance card. Cleaning up the old energy so that new things are coming in. And when it does, and this is the Eight of Wands, when it does, we will find that we spend more time being on top of the energy, feeling good about ourselves, and grounded, that it's it works to our benefit. I promise you, the more you don't rely on your ego, the more you rely on your authenticity, the more joy and happiness will be in your life. All right? Trust, trust that that is a truth. And for some reason or other, we got the Nine of Cups again, and I, I really like that. It's being on cloud nine, being very happy with the situation. More importantly, it asks you to enjoy your life. Have fun. Laugh. Make a wish. Make it fun. Make it serious. Whatever, whatever works best for you. But enjoy yourself. Always do things with the idea of being the best you can be and better than you were the y yesterday and not to hurt other people you know that's that's a given but do it with joy in your heart because joy and love are very similar all right namaste namasco and i love you and you i do love bye